there's a single baggie on this end cap and inside it I can see one of my very favorite things. Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark and OfferUp. Today, we are embarking on an impromptu visit to Goodwill. Jake has just finished his Krav Maga slash karate class. How was it, Jay? It was good. You looked really, really good. Do you mind I if I- I brown board the you, first time. I know. Do you mind if I put a clip in? Yeah. <laughs> you don't mind? That's all right? I don't mind. Miley was here supporting her brother. He did really well, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. So I don't have my Thrifting Vegas blanket with me because I wasn't planning on this, but both of the kids wanted to stop by and uh, see if they could find anything at my favorite Goodwill. I know that Sonny Las Vegas was here and he picked up a really good vase that I missed. So congrats on that, Sonny. I'll pop a clip in here. If you haven't watched Sonny's video, go ahead and uh, take a look at that. Yay, Sonny, I'm so happy for you. I hope it sells for a lot of money. Well, here we are. This is the Goodwill at um, Rainbow and Cheyenne here in Las Vegas. We had some torrential rain last night and it's quite a bit cooler today in the 80s, which is a really nice break. I think we're going to have a new color of the day. Any guesses, guys? What co what's the color of the day? Um, blue. Blue? Thank you. The colour of the day is purple. Let's grab a cart and we'll make our way back to the hard goods section. Quite a few of you ask, and yes, I do buy clothes for myself and my family here at Goodwill. The kids love to have a look when they come with me, and I've actually spotted a couple of pieces I like right here. Two wraps, they're tie-dyed, a blue one and a black one. Unfortunately, they're not my size, so I'll have to leave them. Some of you are disappointed when you see a thrifted piece that you want to buy and you realize the Thrifting Vegas video you're watching is an old one. Please do still email me thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. You never know. I have a lot in my inventory and I still might have the piece you want. Here we are in the hard goods section having a look. Up on top here is a candle holder. It looks modern, definitely resin. We'll leave that. Look at this sweet little owl sign, owl corner. That would be lovely in a reading nook at a school or library, wouldn't it? This looks like a vintage Johnson Brothers bowl. See the green crown there. It's a lovely piece, $5. They just don't sell too well for me, so I'm going to leave it. Lots of candle holders here, some vases and signs, stocking holders, angels. Let's see. This is a lovely little Japanese dish. Unfortunately, it's very, very chipped, so we'll leave that on the shelf. This we've seen before a couple of times. I think I look at it every time. On the bottom shelf, there's a hat with flowers. Oh, super duper heavy that. What else can we find? I just looked up and saw Warner Brothers Studio Store on this box. Whenever you see Warner Brothers, Disney, Looney Tunes, do take a minute to look up the product on eBay. You just never know. The doll, unfortunately, only worth about $20. But this piece I have sold before. Highly collectible, really in demand are foxes. This fellow is absolutely fantastic. He is a little bit chipped, has a few nicks, but he is gorgeous. He looks like a fairy tale fox. Into the cart he goes. There are more dolls here. Oh, here is a Native American 
Indian girl. She's lovely. I have a friend, Joshua, who collects these. So I am going to pop this under the cart for him. We'll keep going. This is lovely. Definitely a reproduction though. The paint quality, just not there. More dolls. Oops. This girl, definitely a bit worse for wear. Stitching coming undone. Again, not very good quality. So we'll leave her as well. Let's see what else we can find. Baskets and mirrors. Candle holders, a few pieces we've seen before. There's a matching Hope uh, stocking holder. We'll have to put that one, the one we saw at the beginning. A little toothbrush holder. Some boxes, planters. It's a snow globe. And the elephant heart unfortunately still cracked i'm sure checking the top shelf to see what's up here a little plaque and contemporary frame candle holders of all shapes and sizes some glass votives here little vases candles oh look at this Little bear, ABC123. This would be lovely either in a nursery or in a school. It's $3. So let's pop this into the cart. Put it down carefully. As I mentioned, I don't have my blanket because this was an unplanned trip. I usually keep it in the car, but uh, we had been taking the dogs around. So. This is a little clown taking a bath, a vintage piece, sadly quite chipped. And clowns aren't ever so popular for uh, me. They don't sell too well, so I'm going to leave that. Little kitties on a couch, $3. Sadly, it is quite damaged and not ever such good quality. So I'm going to leave that on the shelf. Some more artwork here. Round mirrors, checking the baggies. This one's is, is pins and buttons, chili pepper ornament, and some games in there. Christmas ornaments. I'm looking carefully because often one ornament can make it worthwhile to pick up the whole bag. going through everything to make sure I don't miss something great. All sorts of boxes, decorative items. If you're enjoying the video, it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Look at this pig, she's absolutely lovely. Tulips in her mouth and on her head. Sadly, her feet are quite chipped, so we'll leave her. Oh, look at this lovely rocking horse. Pieces like this take me back to my childhood. Lovely ornament, $3, would be perfect as part of a Christmas display. So let's pop that into the cart. Oh, and here's a brass shell. Look at this, a footed piece. I think it's a soap dish. And the blue that you see is actually soap. It could be wax. I think with a good clean that will come up really, really beautifully. Little peg votive holder there. Let's pop these into the cart. Keep going. What's back here? Another baggie. This one's got some vase filler in. A couple of glass balls. I think those go on a window uh, valance rod. 
Christmas bows, more plaques, signs and dishes. This is interesting. It's a coaster, three dollars. Says United States Congress. Here's a plate, little girl. She's also three dollars. Unfortunately, she's got some chips on her birdhouse and on her hair. We'll leave her on the shelf. Some more casino giveaways on the bottom. A couple of contemporary coloured glass decorative bottles here. But this piece is definitely vintage. I believe it's a bookend, possibly brass. It's $4. There's a sphinx and some florals. It's fantastic. Let's pop that in the cart. I also love this pink glass bottle. It has embossed flowers on it. It's $3 and it's really nice quality. It has a nice thick base there. Let's pop that carefully down with the bookend. Hopefully we can find the bookends match somewhere on these shelves. We'll keep going. A couple of mirrored cacti here. These are modern, not ever such good quality. And unfortunately the glass is chipped at the top of this one there. We'll leave those on the shelf and keep going more bottles here i think those are microwave plates a fish tank floral and some candlesticks down here these are quite inexpensive not good quality this piece is interesting asian wall decor a dragon and a bird, possibly a phoenix. Unfortunately, it's really, really broken at the bottom. Piece is missing, which is quite unfortunate because it's really amazing. What else have we got up here? Oh, look at this. It's a wall pocket with a cat on it, $3. It does have a little chip at the top, but that doesn't bother me. It is a signed piece. The Holy Family, that looks like the top of a trinket box. Another candle holder and a shell back here. Candle stand. Let's pop this safely into the cart. Here we are in the seasonal aisle and I have spotted an amazing baggie with three glass items in it. The first is this jellyfish paperweight. Now these are usually bioluminescent, which means they light up when you shine a black light on them. I'm rummaging for mine in my purse. Here we go. Let's turn it on. Look at that green glow. I'm going to stand it up so you have a better view. That is absolutely stunning. Also in the bag, a cobalt blue moon candle holder and a clear glass heart. All three pieces, only $6. Let's pop them into our cart carefully and keep going. Some florals and tinsel wreaths, signs and four bits here. Canvases, more dolls. Here is a plush bird. She is quite fun. I do have a couple of plush turkeys still in my inventory. They didn't sell last year, so I am going to leave her on the shelf. Lots more dolls down here. Way at the back of the shelf, I have spotted a slag glass decanter. I believe this is a Jim Beam liquor bottle. It's only $4, unfortunately missing its decorative stopper, but let's pop it into the cart and keep our fingers crossed that the stopper shows up on another shelf, possibly in the kitcheny bits. Here's an 80s style duck. She has a hole in her face, sadly. Some Easter bits here. Some carrot Easter egg stands. 
What else can we see? St. Patrick's Day bucket and a bunch of flowers. This piece is very vintage. A little glass fronted cabinet with some shelves. That would be ideal for miniatures. I'm a bit limited on wall space at my vintage booth at the moment, so we'll leave that. Keep going, lots of wood plaques and signs down here. Decorative wall hangings and frames. Here's a little Hummel box. It's a bit scratched up. Oh, it's a music box. Let's see, rather worse for wear. Unfortunately, the hinges are loose and it appears to be cracked all the way around there. Let's wind it and see if it plays. No, no sound and no movement. We'll leave that on the shelf and keep going. Look at this trivet. It's a beautiful tile of a cat pouncing on a mechanical wind-up mouse. This is going to be ideal for my whatnot sale coming up with the niche lady on August 23rd at 3 p.m. If you're not signed up with Whatnot, do use my code. I'll pop it on the screen and Whatnot will give you $15 to spend on their site. I believe this is a Fitz and Floyd canister. Unfortunately, as you see, it's very, very chipped all over. So we'll leave it on the shelf. Little glass horse there. Let's see, all sorts of odds and ends. Bottles and baskets, cutlery trays, boxes, frames. Oh, oh, I thought that might be a mirror. It's actually just a wood decorative piece. This is empty. Quite nice though. Two tiles on the top carved around the outside. That's for mothers. Some signs at the back there. This is a monkey pod wood fruit bowl. Unfortunately, as you can see, it has a massive chip on the side. Although it's vintage and lovely, we'll have to leave it. A little dash and canvas there. Vintage shelf. Oh, this is nice. This is an oil painting of a ship. Original price $20. It is $8. But I really do like that. It's a lovely piece, nice quality. So let's pop that into our cart. Let's scoot around the corner here into the seasonal aisle. The shelves are quite empty other than this little end part, which I think is going to remain Christmas <laughs> up until the holidays begin. Lots of mugs here. Oh, what's this? Interesting little Asian artifact copy, I think. It's a wine cup. Let's see. There's a single baggie on this end cap. And inside it, I can see one of my very favorite things. It's a glass Christmas tree. Can you see that? If you watch my channel, you know that I collect these. I can't wait to see what else is in the bag. Here we are in the plates, dishes and bowls. And last time I was here, I passed up this gorgeous vintage anchor hocking amber swirly bowl. I have one just like it at home. So I'm going to grab this to match. I believe it's $4 and we're going to keep an eye out to see if we can find any of the matching smaller bowls. This is Blue Ridge Pottery. Not especially a desirable pattern, that one, and it's just a single bowl. However, if you can find any of their teapots, they go for some really good profit. This is fun. Do you see the doggy face? Then I turn it around and it's a cat. That is so fun. Absolutely lovely. The brand is Topsy Turvy. 
we'll pop that in the cart as well. Some cobalt balls, modern pieces. There's another one there. What else can we see? All sorts of shapes and sizes and sets. This is interesting, doesn't really belong here. It is a ceramic doll head. Unfortunately, you can see that the neck has been snapped off there. There's the back, you can see what is done with those. We'll leave that on the shelf. This is quite a modernist pattern. Not marked, quite lightweight those, not ever such good quality. We'll leave those on the shelf. Don't forget to check up high. I think this is another Johnson Brothers, possibly. These are new in the box. Little plates. What else can we find? As you can see, lots and lots of sets and stacks. Just had to touch that <laughs> just to make sure it's plastic, not uranium glass. I do like that pattern. It's quite atomic, quite mid-century looking. These are Corel plates. If you are a plate and dish seller, old Corel patterns do really, really well. Some of them are discontinued. So if you come across those, do be sure to look them up on eBay solds. And because uh, they are Corel, they're quite tough and uh, not so breakable. These are lovely little cat balls. Sadly, I don't know if you can see through the lens, but they are very, very crazed. All sorts of little spiderweb web cracks on there caused by changes in temperature and humidity. And you don't want to use those for food because they can harbor bacteria and all sorts of nasties. Fine for decorative use, but not for food. What else can we see? Little saucer there, it's got a coat of arms. I'm wondering if that has a matching cup somewhere. Pizza stones, more saucers. Those are pretty. California pottery, those. So they say USA on the bottom. I'm seeing casino giveaway sets here. Lots and lots to see. Little piggy on this metal piece. Checking up high. Making sure I look at every single thing. Bowls, there's even a clock here. <laughs> Ooh, down here on the end is a big crate and inside, if I'm not very much mistaken, this is a piece of Nordic ware. Nordic ware is a great bolo. Be on the lookout for uh, Nordic ware. This particular bunt pan is a uh, fiesta party. Always, always check Nordic ware out on eBay solds. Some of them are reasonably good profit. Uh, some of them are amazing profit. There's a, a Christmas tree stump that can go $75, $100. Let's grab this and pop it into the cart. Here we are in the mug section and way on the top shelf here is a false graph shaker. Poor lonely thing. This is salt. Why don't we pop this in the cart and see if we can find its pepper over in the kitcheny bits. We'll lay it just there and get back to the mugs. I have an awful lot of mugs in my inventory, but I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> I found the matching one to this a couple of weeks back, uh, lovely ribbed farmyard style. 
uh, design vintage mug there. So now I have a pair. We are definitely going to grab this for 99 cents. As I was saying, I have a lot of mugs in my inventory, but I'm going to have a quick browse just to make sure I don't miss anything fantastic or as we just saw, a match for a mug I already have. Lots down on the bottom and over here. Some of them probably look familiar. Sadly, mugs tend to sit a while, both here at Goodwill and in my own inventory. I have some on eBay in my booth at the Good Stuff Thrift Store. And uh, sadly, they do tend to sit this time of year. But as one of my lovely subscribers pointed out in the comments, come cold weather time, people start buying mug for tea and coffee and more hot chocolate. These are Franciscan Desert Rose. They used to sell really, really, really well for me. Sadly, eBay is a bit flooded with those and they're only about six to eight dollars a piece now. Little fun snowman mugs there. What else can we see? Just beyond the mugs here is the clear glass. So we are also going to have a quick browse through this again. Oh, that is severely cracked. Again, um, at the moment, for some reason, glasses and glass sets aren't selling ever so well for me. I have quite a few beautiful sets in my booth. Um, but I just don't want to pick up any more sets until I've sold through what I have. Here is a Mexican style artisan glass, but I think that is a mass produced reproduction. These are vintage little green fruit cups or um, liqueur glasses. Ooh, this is a nice vintage canister, but I don't think this is the correct lid for it. Lovely vintage base, that lid is wrong. I'm going to pop it in the cart here. Finish off this shelf and then we will have a peek together. If we take a look, we can tell that this is not the right lid for this canister. The pattern doesn't match, the glass is a different color and the seal doesn't fit correctly. It doesn't fit inside the rim. It sits above it. So we are going to round this corner into the kitcheny bits. Have a look, see if we can find the right lid and the right canister for the lid and canister that we have. Up here is another piece of Nordic ware. This is a popover pan. Absolutely fantastic. These sell really well. You can make little popovers or English Yorkshire puddings in these. Uh, Yorkshire pudding is an English favorite. Uh, you have them with roast beef and gravy. We'll definitely pop that down there under the cart and keep going in the clear glass. Fun little jar there, very, very thin glass, not fun to ship. Down here is a little tiny canister. This is much more of the correct style of lid we're looking for, just too small. Vintage plate there. If that were any other color but clear, I would grab it. Let's see. Pink vase. Again, some familiar pieces in this section as well. Platters. There's a creamer there. Nice clear bowl. This is very similar to the lid we're looking for, but uh, I believe this is the correct lid to that canister. So let's keep going. Butter dishes, another of those canisters. I'm going to say that those are modern reproductions. And the one we have in our cart, the base, 
is definitely vintage. Another Fitz and Floyd piece there. Again, super duper chipped, which is a shame. Some salt and peppers. Ice buckets up top. Little owl teapot here. Very lightweight, that. Not very good quality. And he has a chipped foot. So much clear glass. This is a little Turkish coaster. Seems to be personalized though, so we'll leave that. Here is an avocado <laughs> serving dish. I think this is a reproduction of a vintage piece again. Uh, it's got some damage up top there, a little paint loss. Moving into the metal pieces and bakeware, pots and pans. All sorts of serveware. And bakers. Frying pans, little lighthouse teapot. Oh, look at this beautiful pedestal cake stand. Definitely vintage. It has etched flowers. Super color. It's only $5. I just love this amber. Absolutely gorgeous. I think I'm going to have a struggle parting with this piece. Although, as you may know, sadly, cake stands take up so much room in the kitchen. But some of you do use them in the bathroom for toiletries or to display your collections. On the very same shelf right here is a lovely wine bottle holder. It's a metal guitar player with a microphone, but unfortunately his head is missing. The head is a stopper that goes into the wine bottle, but we are going to pop it in the cart. Ooh, it's a bit manky. Needs a good wash. I wouldn't be devastated if we can't find the head, uh, but let's put it in there for now. We also need to remember to look for the top to this lovely canister. If we can't find it, we're going to have to pop both <laughs> back on the shelf. Jake, you're going to get lice. So far, we haven't been able to find the Foltzcraft pepper to match the salt shaker, but this is another piece in the same set that's going to get broken over there in the tumblers. So I'm just going to pop it there safely with the other ceramics. Where were we? Here we are. Travel mugs. Looking for Yeti tumblers. Well, let's see. Those sell really, really well. A couple of other nice quality insulated tumbler brands do well. Here are the miscellaneous utensils and baggies. This looks like a Delft blue handle. Unfortunately, the top... It's a cheese slicer and the top is very, very bent and damaged. I wouldn't want to try to bend it in case it snaps off. So we'll leave that on the shelf. We've got coffee filters. Those coasters are still there. They have just wheeled out a brand new cart of treasures. This is a baggie with some stitchery inside. It doesn't look big enough to be a tablecloth, possibly a runner or even a pillowcase. Lots of silk thread in there as well. That's amazing. What else can we find? Some greeting cards down there. Little plush deer. Lots of plush. Let's see if I can look in here. I have to stand on my tippy toes. Some plates. What about this one? Ooh, this one looks promising. There is a black cat in here. Let me try to get a good balance. Looks like it's $4. It's a piece of iron. Just going to have a look at this as well. It's a Christmas ornament. But look at this cat. I think it's a doorstop, very, very heavy iron piece, definitely vintage. 
He's going to have to go underneath my cart. Super heavy. I'm really excited about this. Lovely, lovely. Let's find a spot for him. Down there is perfect. Back up on my tippy toes again because I can see one more thing. It looks like another cat down here. It's a wood one, a little ornament, sleeping kitten on uh, vintage books. He's gorgeous. Perfect for my whatnot sale with Danny the Niche Lady coming up August 23rd, 3 p.m. Pacific time. Look at this incredible vintage black ceramic panther with a massive hole in his shoulder. Oh my goodness, that is such a shame. He also has a huge crack the whole length of him, so you couldn't even turn him this way around. I'm going to have to leave him. Such a shame. There's a timer there. I wanted to have a look inside this box. It's empty. All sorts of baskets, frames, plaques, and signs. Several of you commented last time that I glossed over the wood and brown section just a bit quickly. And you asked if I could um, take a good look and slow down. So I will definitely do that this time. Lots of signs. There's a bed riser. Oh, this is a pretty little box. It's glass with metal edges in really nice condition and behind it a super little bird look at him i love his colors he has a sweet little face and uh, engraving floral engraving he has a bit of a extra bit of glaze on top but i don't think that matters birds sell really really well for me i absolutely love this box it would make a super display for some vintage pins or brooches. This is a little stack of trivets. Some Asian letters there and butterfly. And look at this cat. Oh, he is sadly very um, worn. Lots of knife scratches on him. We'll leave him. I'm just going to finish the shelf. And then we'll pop those two pieces in our cart. Sweet little bear. Let's see. Oh, another bird. Look at him. Beautiful color, lovely blue with uh, some metal wings and feet. He is super. How fun. So we've got our two birds and our little glass box. Let's uh, see. I might have to rearrange my cart a little bit. I'm just looking unless they can perch on top of the treasures there. I really miss my blanket. I need to learn to keep it in the car. <laughs> Here's our box and our trivets. Those will go on there. There we go. Moving into the metal section, this is an interesting centerpiece. You could put whatever you want in those little cubes. Not very fun to ship that though, so <laughs> we're going to leave it on the shelf. Somebody had fun spray painting that box. Oh, look at this. This is a sea urchin with a wall hanger on it. Absolutely lovely. I don't know if I have showed you my fish wall above my fish tank. I have all kinds of ceramic and wood and metal fish around a lovely uh, artisan metal piece. So I'll have to show you that at some point. This is an interesting floor vase. I believe it's made of resin, but it looks like it's inlaid. Not really sure about this. I think it is plastic actually, so we'll leave that on the shelf. Our cassette tape rack still there. Somebody uh, brilliantly in my comments suggested it would be good for a crafter to house ink pads. Very, very interesting idea. All kinds of ink pads or stickers. That uh, would be really, really fun in a craft room. You could even perhaps mount the whole thing on the wall. Lots and lots of racks, 
sconces and candle stands. Oh, let's see. There is a little ceramic mask there. Baskets and boxes. Votive candle holders. Those are brass, but they're not very good quality. Very thin, not vintage. Some lampshades. Vases down here. As we move into the planters, vases, and florals on the same shelf. Oh, look at this. Really mid-century style. It's a ceramic bowl. That would be wonderful with a beautiful plant in it, wouldn't it? Needs a good wash. It's still got some soil in, but I love the drip glaze green on there. Looks to be in lovely condition. No chips or cracks. We'll definitely grab that. What else can we find? If you saw my previous videos, you'll see we were lucky enough to find a uh, black amethyst bud vase here and also some vintage green glass. The Brody green piece still there. I'm going to resist. I have three pieces, I believe, in my inventory. Several of you said you loved it too. The Brody Green Crinkle Glass. Uh, super for Christmas with some red flowers in or white. Lots of clear as usual. Mostly florist vases, the kind you receive arrangements in. This is pretty pink color, but again, I don't believe that is vintage, but a florist piece. Silks and florals up here. Oopsie. That's plastic. Always take a good look at the containers that the florals are in. You never know. It might be a beautiful vintage piece that many people overlook because they're focused on the floral arrangement. Lots and lots. Planters. Pots mostly modern pieces pinks blues and purples oh this uh, trophy style black vase has migrated over here and this time I'm going to pick it up it's half price sale two dollars and fifty cents many of you said I should have grabbed it and it's still here I can't believe I missed this peg votive candle shade the first time. And based on your comments, I am going to grab this um, canister here. I thought it was for garlic, but uh, it says laurel on it. And that is the Spanish word for bay leaves. So we're going to grab that and I don't believe it. Down here, I think is the sconce for that candle shade. Oh my goodness. Let's see if we can get Miley to help us here. Miley, can you find that shade I just put in the cart, the clear one, and pop it in there, see if it fits. Look at that. It's absolutely stunning, a wall sconce. I love the shape of the shade. That is amazing. I wonder if there's another one. Here we are in the small frames and artwork, having a look to see what they have. As you can see, so many to choose from, all different shapes, sizes and colors. That is a print, so we'll leave it. There's a photograph here. Let's have a look at that. That is a modern, a modern reproduction, but these definitely look vintage look at the oak frame and the paper on the back there a little boy in a rocking chair reading a picture book 
reading a picture book, <laughs> reading a book. Oh, he is fabulous, little blondie. Let's see what the other one is. Oh, it's a little girl, possibly his sister. That matches. So cute. I love that there are two. I am going to pay up for these. $4 a piece, but I think there is still some room for profit. There's one more piece I want to look at here. It's a lovely little Asian scene with a tree and a beach uh, on the lakeside. It's only $2, really nice quality, nicely framed, and it looks like it has applied uh, shiny ribbon or raffia. Only $2, let's pop it into our cart. Let's have one more look over here. We'll make sure we didn't miss anything. All sorts of teeny tiny frames, portrait frames here. That one is definitely vintage, but a bit scratched up. Let's see, a Picasso postcard. What's this? A sparkly four-leaf clover. Let's have a look in the large artwork here. Mostly modern uh, prints and canvases. But you just never know what you're going to find. Always a good idea to flip through every single row. We've got some kids' room stuff what I call model home pieces, it's inexpensive wall decor, some photographs. Oh, look at this stitchery. This is a piece of cruel. It doesn't look like it's complete, half done. The hat ribbon and rose and uh, book decoration is done really beautifully. Let's pop this into our cart. I'll have Miley help us see what the price is there. There we go. Let's see. It is $8, but I think we can pay up for this piece. Here on my table is everything we found at Goodwill. I didn't realize that this haul was quite as big <laughs> as it is. So let's get started. First we have our topsy-turvy plate. On one side, the dog says, bow wow, woof woof, says Mr. Potter's dog. What is he barking at? We turn over to see the cat, meow, meow, pss, pss, at me, says Mrs. Milligan's cat. Absolutely lovely piece. Topsy Turvy by Woodstock, Illinois. It's a special edition, $4. I am going to ask $20. Next, we have our fantastic wrought iron cat door stop very vintage looking super duper heavy i paid six dollars for it i am going to ask 35 dollars this is a nordic ware popover pan really heavy as well i paid four dollars for it I'm going to ask $25. Our other Nordic ware pan is a bunt pan. The pattern is Fiesta Party here. Also paid $5.99 for it. And I am also going to ask $25. This Fox is absolutely fantastic. I've sold him before. He sells really, really well. I paid $6 for him. I am going to ask $28. 
this trophy style glass vase is amazing the paint is coming off here unfortunately but it is a lovely lovely piece let's see this was on half price sale i believe i got it for two dollars and fifty cents and I am going to ask $20. Here we have our two jellyfish paperweights. They're absolutely lovely. And as we saw in the store, they are bioluminescent. They do light up under a black light. Slightly different colors here. This is one I had in my inventory. I brought it down to show you. I found this ooh, over a year ago, I think. And this one we found in the baggie today, along with the Cobalt Moon and the Clear Heart for $5.99. It's really lovely. No damage. I am going to ask... 25 on the green one, 35 on the purple one. I'm going to ask $15 on the Cobalt Moon candle holder. And this little heart is interesting. The peace sign is actually just a sticker that you could peel off if you wanted to and put uh, anything on there or just leave it plain. I am going to ask $8 on that. The sleepy little cat we found in the brand new cart that was wheeled out, curled in a ball on two vintage books. I paid $2 for him. I am going to ask $22. Back here is our ceramic bird. He is sort of a speckledy dark red with carved out florals. He does have a little extra glaze on his back there, but his face is lovely. I paid $5 for him. I am going to ask $25. And the other bird little ceramic with a metal piece really beautiful i paid four dollars on this one i am going to ask eighteen dollars back here are our two bottles this one is a vintage jim beam slag glass now unfortunately we were not able to find the stopper for this. It's a bulb stopper in the same slag glass, but it is a lovely, lovely old piece. I paid $4 for it. I'm going to ask $22. I bought this because of the beautiful pink color and the embossed leaves and flowers on there. I think it's a Canadian piece actually. Oh, it is actually stamped Canada on there. It has its stopper. I paid $3 for it and I am going to ask $20. I love the colors of this planter. Green, Drip glaze almost, really nice heavy glaze inside and out. Super mid-century modern shape. I paid $5 for it. I am going to ask $28. Next we have our gorgeous, gorgeous amber glass. I bought my own bowl out of the kitchen to show you that we have a pair here this is a uh, anchor hocking i believe there's a floral swirl in it i paid four dollars for this bowl 
And if you would like the pair, I am going to ask $30 for the pair. Here is a beautiful cake plate. Pedestal cake plate here, amber with etched flowers all around. As you can see, I paid $5 for it. I'm going to ask $28. Working our way across here, lovely original oil painting. It's a ship in some rather choppy seas with some seagulls. Beautifully done. Really like this piece. I paid $3 and I am going to ask $22. Next are a pair of 1970s ribbed mugs. I grabbed the other one I have in, in, in inventory and this um, is it. The thing I like about these mugs is they're not identical. See, there's the barn here with the silos and the chickens. And if we look at the other one, it starts out with trees and a little church there. So they're not identical. I'm guessing all of the ones in the set were a little bit different. I paid uh, 99 cents a piece for these. And I am going to ask $15 a piece. Next is our little cat wall pocket. He is gorgeous, a handmade piece, a little signature on the back there. I paid $3 for it. I'm going to ask $28. I passed up this lovely jar twice at Goodwill. And several of you were finally kind enough to let me know that the word laurel is bay leaves in Spanish. So this was a jar intended for bay leaves. It is signed on the bottom. As you can see, I paid $1.50 for it on a purple tag sale. I am going to ask $18. I love these metal sea urchins and actually in my house I have a 55 gallon uh, fish tank and above it is a display of fish and sea life. I paid $3 for this and uh, I think I am going to add it to my fishy display. I love the look of this vintage rocking horse. Really gives the impression of Christmas's past. He's carved wood and painted. He does have a little damage here. Looks like uh, some of the wood has raised up. He does have some little chips and paint loss here and there, but that just adds to his charm. I paid $3 for him. I'm going to ask $18. This is a lovely brass piece. I believe it's a soap dish. Needs a good clean. It's quite weighty though. Tri-footed. I paid $3 for it. I'm going to ask $22. Let's back up here. This was a baggie in which there is a needle point. I am struggling to get this out of the bag. There we go. Let's see. 
It's actually a pillowcase, as you can see. The stitchery is not finished, so it would be amazing if somebody could purchase and finish off the stitchery of this deer. Looks like an oversized pillowcase here. So let me show you. Also comes with some other bits. Some more stitchery that somebody has done. And quite a big handful of silks. I believe I paid $3 for the whole bag. If you're interested in any or all pieces, do send me an email, thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com with your offer. Let's see. This is a lovely piece of Asian art. I don't think the trees are silk. They're more like, I'm not even sure what the material is, shiny little bits of ribbon or paper, just a beautifully serene uh, lakeside scene there. The colors in the frame are perfect. I paid $2 for it. I am going to ask $22. Here is our beautiful, cruel stitchery. It's a still life with a basket of flowers, hat, rose, and two books. It isn't finished, which is quite exciting. Let me show you. The hat bow is complete, the rose, and the gold embellishment on the books. I have a feeling that these flowers are supposed to be uh, stitched. So if you are talented in cruel and you would like to finish this piece, it's number 0341. Uh, do send me an email. I would love to see this finished and framed. I paid $8 for it and I am going to ask $25. Next, we have this amazing set of artwork. It is a pair, a little boy and a little girl, definitely siblings. They are print on canvas, I believe. Beautiful quality, no damage. I paid $4 a piece for these. I am going to ask $18 a piece. This is a little pair of elephants I found. They are resin made to look like bone. I paid $2 for them. I am going to ask $15. This is a trivet tile. The design is by Lyle Herrero. Let me see if I can pick it up and show you the back. It's a fantastic cat chasing a clockwork mouse. Lowell Herrero, 1982. I paid $4 for it. I am going to ask $28. Next are trio of trivets. Definitely vintage. We have a butterfly and two Chinese characters. I believe this one is Long Life. Is this Prosperity? I'm not sure. I paid 99 cents for the three. I'm going to ask $12 a piece. 
I love this bear. He'd be just perfect in a nursery or a little boy or girl's room. He has a stripy shirt, ABC123. He's by Sarah's Attic. I paid $3 for him. I am going to ask $24. This medallion, I believe, is a coaster. It says United States Congress, made of brass. I paid $3 for it. I'm going to ask $12. This is a set of peg votive holders here. $7.99 on these gray tag there are two and uh, I am going to ask $25 they actually would fit in this one but they weren't made for it this one I found separately to its shade as we saw Miley showed you how they go together in the store. Beautiful vintage sconce made of wood and brass with the shade. I paid $5 for the set and I am going to ask $28. Here we have the two little vintage jewelry boxes I found metal with glass this one i found last week it didn't sell um, so i brought it back out because i think they look lovely together you could do a gorgeous vintage brooch display inside this one i paid two dollars very very simple so classic i'm going to ask 22 on this one and 28 on this one. Let me just zoom into the detail on this. It's absolutely lovely. Just so delicate. It also has beveled glass, this one, as you can see. Beautiful piece, would make a stunning gift. This over here was actually my sleeper. I had no idea this is an antique bookend. It's a sphinx. It's made of um, bronze, I believe. I paid $4 for this, and I found uh, single ones online for upwards of $50, which is quite amazing. Very, very old. I'm going to go back, and uh, fingers crossed I can find the other one to match. Now, I thought we would do something fun at the end of this haul and go through this baggie of Christmas items together. It's the baggie I found on the end cap with the beautiful glass Christmas tree. As many of you know, I collect glass Christmas trees. So let's, as you can see, this is still sealed. I paid $8.00. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. I might have to put you down. They really staple these together <laughs> well. So stand by and I'll open the bag. Here we go. Well, the first thing we have, as we saw, is our solid glass Christmas tree. Beautiful piece, doesn't appear to have any damage, amazingly. Next is a sugar skull metal candle holder. This is a little, uh, is it an ornament? Yes, yeah, just a little ornament. He wobbles. Santa playing golf. He does have a little hook for hanging. 
Santa's head bobbles and the golf ball bobbles. I've never seen that before. <laughs> it's very fun. Here we have an Asian ornament. It's actually, I believe it's transferware. Little birds on there. This is really beautiful, definitely old. Has a sort of an iridescent sheen to it. Next, a snowman trinket box. Let's have a look inside here. Again, I need both hands to do that. We'll do that in a second. This is just a non-breakable ornament. And another one. One more. I do like to put these ornaments in a big clear glass bowl or hurricane shade for Christmas along with some twinkly lights. They look really lovely on display and you can pick up the colors of your room or uh, of the season with the Christmas balls that you choose. Let's see, what is this? I think this is an ornament somebody has created out of a box. What a good idea. It's a little box with a Christmas card inside, some sequins glued, a ribbon on top. That is lovely. What else do we have? Here's a little blown glass bird. It's got gold wing tips. Somebody has popped a wire on there. As he's got the wire as well as his original hanger. Let's see. Here is a little cat ornament. Cat with a snowflake on his chest. He is really sweet. This looks like fused glass. It is a bell. Lovely piece. And last but not least, this is an M, a fuzzy backed M faux fur on the back there with a hanger as I say I paid eight dollars for the whole bag the Christmas tree will be staying with me but uh, if I was planning to sell it gosh those have gone up in value even the small ones are selling upwards of 20 25 30 dollars and if you see anything amongst these ornaments that you would like as well as in the rest of my really quite sizable haul here do send me an email thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com please don't forget the dot between the vegas and the tiffany uh, if you don't include that dot it won't go through uh, let me know your name your address the item you're interested in and your offer if you have the highest offer I receive, I will send you an invoice for the item and uh, ship it right to your door. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed both the thrifting trip and the haul. Please stay tuned. I am going to be speaking at the Boss Reseller Remix this year. I hope you can join me either in person or with a virtual ticket. Stay tuned for some more information. And of course, our pups. Bear and Rio, and the lovely hummingbirds in our garden. I'll see you next time. Bye.
If you watch my channel, you'll know that I'm thrilled to be speaking at this year's Boss Reseller Remix. It's October 16th through 19th here in Las Vegas. If you're a reseller at any level, tickets are still available. This will be my third year, so please join us. It's an incredible experience. If you can't make it in person, be sure to grab your virtual ticket. Get $10 off with my code THRIFTLV. There. Where's the other one? Have you got two? Leo's got one. Need one more. Where is it, Ray? Really? Leo, are you a big girl now? Are you a big girl? What you doing there? Push ball. Push ball. Okay, let's go find the ball. 